What is up team and welcome back to our third installment of our failed trip to the HPTO Festival all the way in Invercargill. In this episode we talk with Rowley and his evil Mark V Cortina. We shoot across to Belt Pluther and catch up with Tony McLean and his LSDX Corolla. I thought it'd be rude not to stop in and see Gaz on the way home, uh, see what he's been doing post summer nats and how the car is. And then uh, we stop at Rare Spears, Andrew buys some parts for the coupe. And uh, it was good, we were able to shoot across and see Paul and see how rusty he is and what he's been up to. We also stop in Rangiora, catch up with Mark at Stealth Engineering, see what they're up to and make him repair my trailer. <laughs> Here we have a Mark V Cortina. Um, we've built, built this up over the last probably five years, uh, coming into the burnout scenes, running a 347 Windsor with the C4 trans behind it, um, built in Waikai. Um, it's got bullet shafts um, and goes through to a 9 inch diff. I've actually kept the 4 stud in the rear so we can keep that 90s uh, Cortina look as we all used to like, you know. Uh, always been a Ford man, you know, through and through. Been around Fords all my life. My mother and father love Ford people too, so as a family. And, you know, we're, someone's got to support the blue oval out there in the burnout scene. I might as well be it. Well, why the Cortina, bro? Like, it's a different burnout car. You don't, I don't think I've even seen many in Australia, to be honest. No, no, there's a couple over there, but, but obviously, if you have a look at them, they've got LSs in them, you know. Basically, I've always wanted a V8 one uh, ever since I was a teenager. And uh, so I put my head down and built one. Uh, what, what, what sort of how are we putting down? We've probably got about 600 at the wheels, um, and that's, that's that's enough to do pull skids, as everyone knows. And uh, I like the party when you go to a burnout event. That's what attracts me. Meeting good people, we're like a big family, you know. Everyone loves everyone, and uh, yeah, and we're basically real family. Yeah, just like to shout out to my sponsors, Tow Man Towing and Christchurch. He's a big supporter of mine. We're at discount tyres in Vicargo wheel alignment. All right, so tell us what's next for Evil Mark V. Um, obviously, we've uh, got a bit of a trans issue, as we've seen out there today, and so we're going to go home, pull the trans out, um, rebuild her, and um, get her back in the pad next event, hopefully. And uh, yeah, do it all again next year, try and make it the North Island, and uh, just how we do it, you know. Rock on. So we're just here in Belclutha, far down the deep south, and we're uh, just visiting a shed. I'm Tony McLean, and this is LSDX Burnout Car. Yeah, it's a K70 Corolla with an LS1 in it. Don't really need much more than that, mate. It's reliable. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, a great thing you know, about this car is it's obviously, um, you've, you've kept everything fairly stock, and uh, you know, just I've watched the, the last couple of burnouts in it, and it, 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 it does the, it does the business, you know. It definitely does the business. And yep. uh, so you just told me you've you've got a 4 l 60 e yep. in there. Yep. And yep. Um, you don't have a whole lot of neutrals. There, so no, it's just put it into third and hold it. Yeah. So what made you um, put an LS in this uh, beautiful little car? I, they come out with a pretty solid, you know, yeah, reliable. Came out with the 4K. Couldn't yeah. go wrong, really. It's still sitting in the corner of the shed. Um, but I had a VZ Commodore that was sitting in the corner of the shed as well. And so, what's better than a something reliable and something reliable. So how's the last couple of outings gone for you bud? Got first in Chrome and got first overall best burnout at Beachlands. So what's the future plans for LSDX? Um, gonna do all the South Island events that I possibly can and start trying to do the North Island events. So what's the next event you're going to be at so we can see this in action? The next time this is in action it's a women's only event and that's at Beachland Speedway in September and then it'll be Cromwell. I have seen that uh, event coming up, uh, A Year the Girls or something like yes, that. Yes, that's the event. one. Yep, uh, yep. It's, it's pretty good. I mean the South Island is very good at encouraging the, you know, the yep. females and that to yep. get out there and enjoy it yep. as much as, as the guys. And yep. well, That's pretty good that you're just going to loan out your car to someone else. Yeah. <laughs> Especially burnouts because they all, you know, cars take such a beating. As we were doing this trip very much off the cuff, um, 
was sort of hadn't booked any accommodation or anything so you know I had a booking agent aka my wife uh, I'd ring her up and say right we're gonna make it to Dunedin and, and she'd book us somewhere and I'd be like just get in the cheapest place possible and uh, we ended up staying in this pretty cool old hotel and uh, she was pretty pretty old pretty antiques roadshow but uh, it was it was pretty choice So basically, they're saying that the Ranger has got so much blow by that it actually fucking burst the main seal, and that's why we lost all the oil out of the motor. And he reckons that more than likely, from his pers uh, uh, professional opinion, is that he's uh, that put his cracked a, a piston. So yep, not a not a good. We just thought we'd pay old mate Gaz a fucking uh, stop in while we're on our way through, see what he's up to. Got the fuel tank out of it because it was fucking leaking and this shit here I made myself and as you can tell, crap, crap and yeah, it was fucking leaking. So we're going to change all the fuel, all the um, way the tank's filled up and tank's out of it and my brother's, he's making it bigger as well so we won't run out of um, fuel at Summonet's and strengthen up the deck, add a new bar, steel plates, another steel plate there. Came back from Summonats, everything was all good? Yep, yeah it was perfect, all we needed to do was um, return the carbs down to Invercargill and yeah, it was literally just the um, air fuel ratio, just richened it up a little bit and that was it, because over there we're going to 98 and now we're going to gas, so just richened it up a wee bit. So what's the plan now? Surely it's time for the motor to come out and have a bit of a look it's, over or? It is, yep. If yeah, you talk Mark. to Uncle Mark, he'll be saying, fucking that motor needs to come out, mate. He is saying that and he wants it up there. So yep, we'll do one more. We're gonna do one more thing. I keep saying one more thing, but this is definitely one more thing. We're oh. gonna do old school call in Christchurch. Oh yeah, yeah. Which I think is like one or two burnouts. Yeah. But it'll do that and then it'll come out and yeah, get fucking made better. Fuck what's going on over here, mate. Um, not much. <laughs> fucking the best colour car you got in here, bud. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I seen her at fucking Muscle Madness. Oh, oh, mate, where's all the fucking Barrel 51s? Nah, Whoa, Barrel fucking 51s. Cody's. Oh, we're a bit fucking. Not much in there now. Who's are those? Those must be Mumsies. Ah, uh, they were. Just grab any if you want. Any you want, bro. Do you guys want more beer from my fridge? <laughs> what time you got to go to work? I'm supposed to stay at two. Oh, yeah. yeah, we won't stop. We won't stay long. We just want we want to call in, make our presence known. How cool is it? Summer next time.
handy store for car enthusiasts. But yeah, yes, enthusiasts. Here we are, here we are. So we're on our way back to Wellington um, and so we're just trying to make the most of a bad situation. So we've been catching up with people along the way and we're in Christchurch, we've just been at Rare Spears uh, here, we're at, uh, we'll come and see Rusty, check out his garage out. coming to these garages you get to see what everyone's got hiding away. It was great to catch up with Paul and see how Rusty's going. He's had a shitload of bad luck in the past year or so, but it looks like he's got it all under control, all sorted, and uh, we can't wait to see him out there smashing tires again. Uh, thankful for Paul showing us through his, you know, not only his garage but also his epic collection of street machine magazines, um, car collection here. This guy has a wealth of knowledge on everything and, uh, you know, go over to his page, his Facebook page, find him, check him out. There's always a good yarn on there, um, lots of history. Yeah, I, I really enjoy catching up with Paul. Not even a fucking wheelie on the back wheel. <laughs> So while we're down on this trip, we're just fucking doubling down, mate. We had a little bit of issue with the trailer. I thought I might as well fucking, you know, stop in at the trailer builder's house. And what do you know? They're still here working away. And uh, yeah, sick. Fuck's all going on in here. Yeah, he's just going to get us up. Oh, true.
So obviously where they build the trailers and everything. It's just shed after shed after shed. Fucking doing some fucking repairs on the trailer now. The door's playing up a bit, so we're at the fucking bro's place that actually built it. So we just did a temporary fix with the old fucking um, with the cable ties to make sure it doesn't come over. Yeah, boy. <laughs> Talk about being out of the shelter. Oh, fuck yeah. Out of the shelter and fucking balls away. <laughs> yeah, I, I've, I've seen them in the photos and was like, yeah. fuck this guy. Custom carpets. Triple axle. Oh. Best of resistance when you're waiting for the ferry. Oh, <laughs> oh hey, look at this shit. When you sit at the ferry terminal and everyone's waiting for coffees. No, no, we just sit there building it ourselves. <laughs> oh, so this is a gooseneck. Holy yeah, fuck, yeah, yeah. man. Oh, fuck. Man, as I sit here making this video, reflecting on the trip that we had, um, as, as disastrous as it was, uh, costly, um, what a trip, you know, we met so many people, the hospitality was awesome, um, we achieved lots, uh, we met heaps of people from the internet, you know, it's good to see people face and face. I mean, re what really makes these good is the road trip, and, and the road trip was probably one of the best I've had. I mean, oh, I'll shout out to Keith and Andrew for coming along, man. Uh, obviously it wasn't what I planned, it wasn't what I had envisioned happening, but fuck, what an adventure we had. Um, hope you boys had just as much fun as I did. Um, yeah, this, uh, I mean, I've had such a good time, you know, it makes me want to pursue doing the videos a bit more and, and diving a bit deeper. I've got a few ideas running through my head at the moment. So, yeah, we'll see what happens, man. Um, but yeah, until the next one, skids on, boy.